Five years ago, on the Feast of St. Joseph, I received the grace of the Episcopal Office from the hand of our predecessor, Most Reverend Rolando Oventriat Tirona. On the same podium, I said, I felt taller because of the mitre. And the staff and the ring expanded, so to speak, my physical and official boundaries. But truth to tell, as my brother bishops would attest, one only becomes more conscious of one's smallness. And today, before the Lord, in your presence, with your presence, I feel smaller. And this beautiful towering cathedra, this chair, makes me feel small. A reminder that the office, the mission, is greater than myself. We are gathered before the Lord's table to thank the Father through Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the source and origin, and the destination of all. I humbly thank the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the trust he has bestowed upon me by entrusting this office to this humble servant of the Lord. Today, we are grateful he is represented by our apostolic nuncio who installed me into this new office. Thank you to the clergy and faithful of Da'it. You have enriched me in many ways. We journeyed together through the pandemic Thanks be to God we survived, and we discovered that God does not abandon us. We all look forward to the Golden Jubilee celebration of the diocese. Thank you to the clergy and faithful of Caceres. The warm, very warm welcome you accorded me was overwhelming. The joy and excitement are energizing as they are humbling. Gratitude as my first intention and act, Eucharistia. And for this, I have been a priest to offer the Eucharist, thanksgiving to God. So my dear brothers and sisters, you can see for me as the papal nuncio here in the Philippines, it gives me so much joy and happiness to see the life of the church continue here in Bicol, in this wonderful super Catholic region of the Philippines. I want to say a word of thanks, a word of gratitude to Archbishop Rex for having said yes to this new appointment, to having responded to the call of Pope Francis with the attitude of a servus, saying, yes, I will serve. I will leave my beloved Diocese of Diet and I will come to the Archdiocese of Caceres. Thank you, Archbishop Rex, for having said yes to the Holy Father and to the Church. My beloved people, on this day of his installation, I ask you, I beseech you, pray for your new Archbishop. Pray for him. You will pray for him officially and formally at Mass in the Eucharistic prayer, but pray for him outside of that context. Obey and respect your Archbishop. Cherish and love your Archbishop. He is the gift of God to your church at this moment, to be a shepherd, to be your servant. So please take good care of him. And of course, truly our special gratitude to His Excellency, Most Reverend Rolando Tria Tirona, our predecessor, who up to this moment has ensured that all this be done. Archbishop Roli, Dios mabalos po. I am sure there are many others who have done, who have contributed to this celebration. I may not have seen it myself, but the Father who sees what we do in secret, may He bless you and reward you. Very special thanks to my brother bishops who have come. Your presence, your brotherhood is truly and deeply appreciated. It is an inspiration as I undertake this new appointment. To the clergy, the faithful, the youth of Caceres, salamat na marhay sa pagsabat, sa pagpadagos, sa pag-ako. To all of you, 
Diyos po ang magbalos. Ki ina, ki San Jose, San Pedro Bautista, asin San Juan Evangelista, ang satuyang pagtaong galang asin pagpaslangan. May all these be for the greater glory of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.